Hi, this video is entitled How to Watch BBC in the USA. Now, I travel a lot to the, the US, uh, mainly with my work, and you've probably noticed that you can't access the BBC's online service, which is called BBC iPlayer, uh, when you're in the uh, USA. The same goes for uh, the ITV, Channel 4, Channel 5, all the British TV sites are not accessible. Although they've all got online services, none of them will work in the USA. This is because they all check your IP address when you connect, and um, if it finds out that you're, uh, you've got a non-British IP address, you'll get blocked. What will happen is something like this. Let me just show, uh, let's try a video, uh, The Apprentice. Uh, we try and click on it, you'll get this message here saying BBC iPlayer TV programs are only available to play in the UK, blah, 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 blah. Um, so all the American media sites do the same. If you're outside the US, you won't be able to access things like NBC, ABC, Hulu, um, HBO, stuff like that. Uh, it's a bit of a pain, to be honest, because um, a lot of us travel a lot um, or live our lives across different countries. And it's a real nuisance not being able to access all these great media sites just basically based on your location. Uh, I'm going to show you how to get past it. Um, I'm going to focus on the BBC, but it works just the same for um, any of the American or Australian, Canadian, whatever sites you want to watch. <clears throat> but I'm going to demonstrate on BBC. Now, when I do these videos, normally people ask me, is there a free way of doing it? And in this instance, kind of, there is a free way. And I'm just going to give you a quick introduction. I don't want to make the video too long, but I'll show you. The trick here to watching the BBC is to hide your real IP address. Now, you can't change your real IP address because that's assigned via um, your ISP. Although you can modify the individual IP addresses in your network, those aren't actually relevant to the websites you visit. The, the only one is your external website uh, uh, IP address, which is assigned by your ISP. Or if you're in an internet cafe or uh, using a Wi-Fi, that's where you'll get your um, external IP address. Uh, so, what you need to do is something called use a proxy or a VPN, and that's basically root all your internet connection through an individual server, a proxy or a VPN server. A uh, couple of ways of doing this. Here's a website called proxy.org. This has things called web proxies, where you type in the URL. <coughs> They've got hundreds here, um, proxy.org. Check them out. Uh, what you need to do is go down to the sorted by country. You need to find a British one if you're watching the BBC. There's no point going through an Australian proxy or a French proxy. It won't help you at all. If you want to watch the BBC, you've got to find a UK proxy. So you go there, click on a UK proxy. You need to register with this site and log on and then go through the proxies until you find one that works. That's the problem with free proxies. They're A, very slow, and B, they fall over a lot. Uh, that's because thousands and thousands of people are using them. Uh, so you'll probably find you spend a lot of time searching for proxies. You'll have to search each time you want to use one because they never last more than an hour or so. Certainly not for um, streaming video. Uh, so that's proxy.org. The other thing you can do is you can use a proxy scraper. I've had a quick look. Here's one called gatherproxy.com. It looks pretty good. I haven't used these uh, for a while because I use a service now. Um, but basically, it looks pretty good. I'll put a link for that uh, video into my description below. Uh, it's called gatherproxy.com. And what you need to do, you need to configure it to gather proxies. Uh, again, you need to find a UK one. Now, when you find it, you'll find the IP address and you'll need the port, okay? And what you do is you go and set it in your browser settings. Uh, whoops, a daisy. And I'll just show you where you do that. I'm in Chrome. I'll show you in Chrome. It's pretty much the same in Internet Explorer, probably similar in um, Firefox as well. You go into Tools, Settings. Uh, we need to go Advanced Settings, and I'm looking for the network stuff there. Change my proxy settings. You get this little box, and then choose LAN Settings here. Click on that proxy server box, and then put the IP address you've got from Proxy Checker, that uh, Gather Proxy, and the port number in there. OK. I'm going to take that off because I'm not using it. And then restart your browser. If it's a UK proxy and it's working and it's fast enough, you should be able to um, go to BBC iPlayer and stream it from there. Again, I'm not going to lie to you. 
it takes a heck of a lot of time to find these because they're so overloaded and they don't last long. But it's a free way and I'm just showing you how you can do it for a one-off. But hey, it's cool. That's um, There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, but I'm going to show you the service I use. Um, and it's called uh, Identity Cloaker. And here it goes. And basically, it's a program that sits in your taskbar down here. And uh, you pay a small subscription monthly to it. It's uh, just a few dollars. It's not much. And it gives you access to all these proxies all over the world. Um, they're actually VPN servers because it's a security program, so it encrypts your connection. So you're completely anonymous. And what we need to do is, because I need to hide my US IP address at the moment, I need to find a UK server. So I click on that. And I see I'm now connected to one of their UK servers. If I was in the UK and I wanted to watch a, a US website, I'd choose a US server. They're all included. Okay, so I just close that. Uh, we'll start my browser again. Uh, this time I'm going to go... I, remember, at this point now, all my uh, browsing is um, routed through Identity Cloaker servers. However, they are extremely fast. It's something you pay for you're paying for the bandwidth and people to run it properly and the fast servers you know so uh and i'm gonna watch what we trust me i'm a dot ah, let's watch the apprentice just try that and you click on it and this time it should work because it's loaded it's rooted through identity cloakers uh uk server so just stop there super fast you won't notice hardly any connection speed difference at all because they are so quick. Uh, there's hundreds of British ones because lots of people use the BBC. Um, and that's basically it. Uh, that's how to watch BBC in the USA. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's been of use. And thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.